Jesus really loved the feminine. He really honored the feminine and honored the voice of the feminine with his mother and his beloved. But then the church, the early church leaders, they wrote her out. One of the popes said, oh, she had an alabaster jar, which was really expensive at that time. So how did she have an alabaster jar? That meant she must have money. So she must have been a prostitute. Is that the only way that women can make money? Right? Is like, being a oh, prostitute? She must have been a prostitute if she had money. If she had an alabaster jar. More power to him, right? Well, <laughs> the to be honest, money. <laughs> the word pro- prostitute comes from the Greek word to prostrate, which means to bow before. <gasps> Interesting. Isn't it weird? So they've hijacked words. They've hijacked language. They've hijacked the feminine energy. It means someone devoted. It's a bhakti path. It wasn't until like 1969 that they actually, the church was like, oh, she wasn't a prostitute. And then she became a saint. 